Yes, we're live. Oh, I just had a panic. They've changed it how uh, yet again how to go on. Hi, Sylvia. Thanks for joining. Oh, dear. Right. So, this evening, apologies for last week. Um, but we're back again this week. So, uh, it's hello, good evening and welcome. It's Lorna, Lorna Carter's Creations, independent Stamping Up demonstrator based here in the UK. Right, this evening we are going with um, the Harvest dies. We're not using the, um, the stamp set this week. I'm going in with the dies and I'm going in with the very Versailles stamp set. Um, I'm just trying to, it's nature's harvest, I couldn't think. That's it. So the harvest dies, you can either get them on, on their own. And I'll just show you, I'll spin them over. So these are the harvest dies. And these go with, I'll just put those down, these go with Nature's Harvest stamp set. Now you can buy them as a bundle, you can buy them individually. If you buy them as a bundle, you get 10% off. Hi Izzy! So um, I'm just using, so I'm not using the stamp set this week, we used that last week. Um, not last week, week before, fortnight ago. So we're just, we're using the dies this week. And I was looking at them, I was studying them, and to see what what we could do with them. Now, my favourite, my favourite die out here is the wheat, as I would call it. Hi, Maxine! And um, I just thought, I was looking at it, and I thought, well, let's do something different. So I thought we could have a go at doing some lavender, very similar. Just change the colours and uh, we'll have a go at doing some lavender. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. We're going to create this card. Yet again, I'm afraid I've gone for... It is a different colour this time. <laughs> um, we've gone for uh, Highland Heather and... Um, we've got Highland Heather cardstock... We've got fresh freesia, old olive and uh, soft sea foam and Highland Heather ink as well. So I'll show you how I created this. Very similar background to the cards I made a few weeks ago with the pool party and the daffodil delight. Um, but we've gone for a different colour. I'm just, I'm just loving, I'm loving these. I really am, the background. So uh, yeah, I've done another one. So, right, I'll just pop that to one side. I've done that as a thinking of you card because unfortunately I need a thinking of you card at the moment. Um, but I'm going to make a birthday card. So, uh, in the same same design. And obviously, we have decorated, very subtle, decorated the envelope. So, I'll just pop that just so you can see it. So, as I say, it's the Harvest Eyes. This is the only die we're using out of it, so I'll just leave that one out, pop those away. And we're going to use the very Versailles, which is this one. This I just I can't I can't live without this one. Um it's uh, it's just so great for backgrounds, subtle subtle colours, it's just lovely. Um yeah, I, I must admit, Sylvia, I love doing them too. Um, they're just great, absolutely great for backgrounds and great for features as well. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to be using this one again. Um, so I've got all my colours out. We're going to be using a Highland Heather 
it's the dark Highland Heather blending pen. So we're going to do some flicking to make some splats on there. We're going to use one of the daubers. So that's something else we're going to use. We're going to use the brushed brass butterflies. Don't say that fast. I get my words muddled up. And I have prepared, I've prepared two stems already. So I'm going to die cut and I'm going to go through the process of uh, the last one. So, uh, yeah. Hi, Helen. Right. So I'll get, we'll get sorted. Just put things to one side. I'll leave, try and leave the card in view. Somewhere like that. Oh, thanks, Izzy. I love the colours. I love the Highland Heather with the, it's um, the soft sea foam. Right, so if I put all my colours out, that's what we've got. That's my dye. Right, first we will... I've cut the, I have already had a base card cut, so this is half of A4 and it measures 21 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score that to make the card base. So I've got my trimmer. So we're going to put that in landscape and we're going to score at ten and a half centimetres so we're just going to score to make the base card and to fold that over just get my move that out of the way <laughs> just get my bone folder just make a nice crease that is the base card all done I'm sorry I'm blinding everybody with that um light Right, so that's the base card done. We then need two pieces of uh, basic white. So we need one for the inside and then one for the outside, which we're going to um, blend the inks on. So just get that back again. So the size of the basic white, I'm going to pop the, the card in landscape. And we're going to cut at 14.3 centimetres. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Put that one to one side. Okay, so then we're going to turn this piece, landscape, and we're going to go in at 10 centimetres. And then, oh, can't pick it up. And then again at 10 centimetres. And I always keep these little off cuts. Some people don't, but I keep them because you could get a nice sentiment on there. I keep every last scrap. I'm terrible. I'm a very frugal crafter. Right. So we've got the two basic white and the um, and the base card. So one of these, as I say, is going to go on the front, and we're going to blend soft sea foam apologies i've got cat hairs everywhere i had a cat on here i couldn't get rid of her earlier on and uh fresh freesia that is the blending colors for the front and on the inside all i've done is i've just blended some soft sea foam and then just stamped second second generation stamping so basically i'll show you how to do it so you ink up stamp off onto a scrap and stamp on so that is how I've done that just to make it fairly subtle right so I may as well I think we'll do the inside first and I'm just thinking I haven't got um, I want to do a birthday card so I just want something for the inside and I haven't got my sentiment out uh, that's the one so I'm going to go in 
this is peaceful moments this is a really it's out the uh, annual catalogue it's a got quite a, a few well quite a lot of nice um sentiments so i'm going to use on here wishing you every happiness this the special day will bring so that's what we're going to use on the inside so i'm just going to get that hmm, if i can find it there, there we are and that was from Peaceful Moments. So I'm just going to mount that up onto a block. Oh, as straight as I can. Like so. What I will do, and I didn't get one out earlier. Just a tip. So I've got a, a grid sheet and I've got it upside down. There we go. So I've got a grid sheet. Now, with the photopolymer stamp sets, you can basically see, um, see through them to line them up. Obviously, with the red rubber, you can't. Hi, lids. And, um, so what I'm going to do is you can see, I'll bring it up, you can see the levels of the um, sentiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get those to line up with my grid sheet. I'm just going to go down a bit because I can't see very well. The camera's right over it <laughs> and I can't get right over it. Right, so I'll do the best I can. So it's just a matter of trying to line that up like so. Let's just, I'll just um, Highland Tether, I stamp this in. I'm just going to ink it up just to show you. This is where it all goes wrong. So I'm going to use the grid sheet just to line the block up. And then I'm just going to stamp down. Fingers crossed. It's fairly level. So that's just a trick. Just a little hint and tip for what you can do. Right, I'm just going to move that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know why I shut that because I want to re ink it. Dough. Right. So we're just going to ink that up again. That's lovely. And then we're just going to go on and we're just going to basically line your block up to just the edges, make sure they're parallel. And then down not bad that's not too bad for me on live so that's that bit and i've got my i'll just clean my stamps as i go just with my chamois I've, i nearly forgot to put some, well wet it earlier on <laughs> just a couple of minutes before i was going live i thought oh i better do that Right, so as I say, we're going to go in and we're going to do two corners. I might do the opposite corners, actually. We've done top left, bottom right. We'll go top right, bottom left this time just for something different. Okay. Right. Now, apologies because I haven't had chance to wash my blending brushes as you can see they're not the right colors so i'm just going to use some of my old ones but i do i do prefer my stamping up ones but i just haven't had chance i'm afraid so i'm just going to go in um scrap of paper i did have one there's my sheet i'll bring this in Right, it 
this i want to order i i would like another set of blending brushes i would like well i'd like one per color if you not per color but per color family oops i'm wrecking the joint so i'm going to have to get myself sorted and get some ordered so we're just going to go in We don't want a lot, we just want a little bit of colour. So that's absolutely ample. Oh, can't pick it up to show you. Just a little bit of colour. And we're going to just go on again. And we're just going to go in this corner. I always start off the piece of card and come in. I get a bit carried away sometimes, I'm afraid. I get really impatient. <laughs> there we go. So it's just put that little bit of colour on the on the base card. I want that out again because I want my stamp. So from the very Versailles, I'm using the leaf stamp. So when I said second generation, Okay, so we're just going to go in and ink up the stamp, like so. I'm just going to move that out of the way. So I'm going to stamp off, like that, and then we're just going to stamp on. I don't want, I just want a little bit of colour, just like that. Oh. Just so it's very subtle. So we'll just go in and do the um, bottom bit. So stamp off. We're going to stamp on. And there we go. That is the inside done. So that's done. I can forget about that now. In fact, we'll stick that in. And I can forget about that. So I'll just clean my stamp off again. Oh, and I've got something to show you this week. My son and my husband bought a... It was it was at Christmas time, actually. They decided to go together and buy a 3D printer. And they've been printing away. And all of a sudden, I thought, I know, I know I've seen some holders for glue. I've got to show you what they made me. This is a cute little holder that they've 3D printed for me. I I love it. I think it's ace. Mm -hmm. So it just fits your um your glue in, your glue bottle, and it's upside down so it's ready to rock and roll. So I just thought I had to show you that. <laughs> <laughs> right so on the inside we're going to get the glue and all we're going to do is is just a little bit around the side and some across the middle and we're going to pop that in like so Just so you've got a little gap, a little border, all the way round. There we go. It's going to burnish that, so we've, that's all ready now for the outside. Right, here goes. Let's pop that away. I think. Right, so back in with soft sea foam. Now I'm going to do it slightly different. This one I've just done sort of diagonal corners, but I thought I might have a go at um, doing a, it a bit different. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> you, you love it, do you, Izzy? 
<laughs> I know, it doesn't have cat paws. It's more like monster claws. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I'm going to sit down. I'm just going to... Oh, that's better. Right, just stop me. Right, so we're going to just tap on some ink and then we're just going to go in from the outside working in. I'm just going to, we'll see what happens, see what I can do. Just wanted something just a little bit different if I go in in the middle at this side some areas say so I get I do get impatient I'm afraid I end up getting more ink on than I should <laughs> but it doesn't matter it's handmade so we'll go in we'll put We'll go in three times with the green and then we'll go in three times with the fresh freesia. Right. I might come back to that but we'll just put that away. Right, so we're coming in with the fresh freesia. If I can open it, my little hands haven't been very good today. Right, so tap, tap, tap. Let's come in at this side. It will, the colour will build up. So this is where I do get impatient because I want it doing now. I'm just going to go in so you can just see the colour is it is taking slowly but surely We're getting there. We just want it fairly subtle. But we are going to stamp over it, don't forget. So. Just put a bit more in there. Doesn't matter if the colours blend. That's what we're going to do. Get all sorts of different colours. a little bit darker right I think we'll go in with that because what we're going to do is we're going to stamp over so it's just a bit different and it just looks like it's got a bit of a splodgy there and everywhere rather than that one which is like corner to corner just something different right so I'm gonna go in again with the leaf stamp from very Versailles and then the writing the calligraphy we're going in with so we'll go I, yeah I did I've got the old olive out for um, the stems of the lavender. So I'm just going to... Oh, there's cat ears everywhere tonight. Little terrors. 
so I'm going to stamp off again and we're just going in wherever wherever you fancy doesn't matter we just want the subtle background just I'm just gonna leave it at that for now I might come back in and do a little bit more in a second okay so for the um calligraphy I'm just trying to think I don't know if I went in I can't remember now if I went in with I don't know we'll go in with fresh freezer just let me I just can't remember. I only made the card last night oh brain <laughs> can't remember if I went in now I went in with this color second generation stamping yet again so I'm just going to go in just like so not very straight but it's handmade it doesn't matter it's however you want to do it I'm going to go in up here small and we're gonna go just there just random doesn't matter it's a background so I'm gonna go in again just to maybe do a bit a few more leaves just to fill it in I just I always start sort of minimalist and then if you can always build it up where you can't take it off so we're going again and it just gives it just so subtle can't pick it up it's just very subtle but it's just a nice background okay and you can use any stamps it doesn't matter I just love this stamp set for this purpose but I say you can you can use any any stamps you can go in with you know your sentiment stamps you know just in the background they're not just for you know um they're for backgrounds as well doesn't matter right so we've not finished yet with that because we're going to go in with the blending pen so this is dark highland heather the blending pens come in a twin pack you have a dark and a light so they ha they're alcohol markers so we're going in i've got the wrong end we're going in with the brush end i'll show you both ends so that's got like a brush end that's a, one we'll be using or you've got your your bullet tip so what we're doing we're going in with this end and then all we're going to do is we're going to put the nib gently into the top and we're just going to flick. Now if I just bring that up you can probably see a bit better. Ooh, we maybe can't, just I think. You can just see the splatters. So that's all we're doing. And it will go lighter I'm just gonna go in as much as as little as you like I'm just gonna get a tissue just to wipe my lid out 
But you only do it gently so you don't damage your nib. But it's a really good technique. So that is what we've got. Right, so I'm just going to put that down to one side. I'm just going to move my scrap away. Right, so I've already done two of the lavender stems. We're going to cut and we're going to colour another one. And I did have my scrap hmm, somewhere. What have I done with it? Oh, here we are. Here we are. I've got it. Just a scrap of basic white. And, of course, my die. Now, this, um, this die will fit in the mini. Which is this little baby. I'm just going to move those out of the way. Which is this little fella. So we're just going to pop that down. It's lovely just to go on your, on your desktop. It's, it's really good. Just a nice size. Right, so we're going to use plate one and both plate twos. Now, as you can see, um, this one is where I've had the die face down. So I have my card, my die face down. And then this one is the one that goes over the top. I try and keep one for the base. Right. Now, with the mini, I find that you're better off staggering your plates as you go in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop those in and then just, there we go. Start her off, put some pressure on the top just to hold it down, and then just wind her through. And it's as easy as that. So I'll just pop that away. It's great. You can fold it all away. And I just have it at the side of me. Ready to pick up. Now you'll see. My plates are bending. There is a little crack in the side. Doesn't stop them from working. They're absolutely fine. The only time I would replace it is when it breaks. Right, so I'll just get rid of that scrap and then it's very fine and very delicate. There we go. So I'll just put my plates away. Right, put my die to one side and I sit down again. Right, we'll bring in my little pot of water. my brush right I'll show you how this is how I did oh I know what I was going to do I was going to pop it on my um, silicon mat so you could actually see I think you can actually see a bit better right so another tip we're going to watercolour with the inks. So the inks we're using, I'm just going to move that to, over on there. So the inks we're going to be using is Old Olive, Fresh Freesia and Highland Heather. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Fresh Freesia first. Now, I either do it one or two ways. You can either... And this is where I struggle a little bit because I haven't got very strong fingers or thumbs. You can squeeze the pad like so. 
and in the top you could use that as a palette a paint palette or if I do it I'll not do it with that one I'll do it with the green obviously I've used this one earlier as you can see but I'm just going to go in with a clear block press in pick up some ink you can do it that way sometimes if my my hands are struggling um that is the way i do it but it's just just a tip just to show you because i know some people don't like leaving their ink pads open because they well they're not open very long so they're not dry up just like that but i know with lamps and everything people get a bit concerned but these are absolutely fine so we're going to go in with the fresh freezer first I'm just going to go in a bit of water. Let's put a bit more in. Okay. You don't have to be an artist for this. This is as simple as this. So I'm just going to go on, do the stems, just like so. There's all sorts of ways you can um, colour them. You could use watercolour pencils and do the same sort of thing. Okay, so that's all I'm doing with the Fresh Freesia. Because I put water in the top of here, there's a quite I put quite a bit in. I'm just going to dry some of that off. That ink there is fine, so I'll just leave that and it'll just stay there. But don't, if you put a, a bit of water in, just make sure that you dry it. So, just another tip. Right, so next we're going to go in with the green. So, we're going to... quite a bit of water on here you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute so I'm just going to do basically like a wash over just like so oh it is it Sylvia so much easier the re the quite sturdy um ink ink pad holders now and i really do str struggle with them sometimes mm -hmm. but it doesn't take a lot to clean off you know off a block it's it's quite straightforward so i'm just going to leave that just to dry a little bit so we've done that i'm going to come in now with the highland heather I did this I did this earlier so I'm just going to go in and use that right so what I'm going to do here very similar technique but I'm not going over all of it I'm just sort of dibble dabble in it I presume we could call it no, I don't know the technical term. The maybe isn't a technical term. But we're just going in just to give it a little bit of dimension with the colours. We've got another stage yet, so so it just gives it you've got Highland Heather on there and we've got the lighter colour of fresh freesia. Okay, so that's what we've done there. Just gonna get me tissue i'll just put quite a bit of water in there just mop that up okay so on the green now it should be okay now we're going to go in just a little bit darker i've maybe used put too much on my block but never mind um 
and I'm just gonna yet again just dibble dabble just so you've got um you, you know a bit of uh, looks like texture so you don't it don't have to be perfect whatsoever you can still see in the background the light like so i'm just going to put that block out of the way because i know what i'll end up doing so that is all we're going to do watercolor in just put my lid back on my pot so i don't spill it everywhere right This is where the dauba comes in. Whoops. And I've used Highland Heather. I'm just going to put those out of the way. So all I've done is dab dab into the into the ink. And then I'm just going to go in. Just maybe going to rub up the side. So it looks darker at one side. just shows it'll show you the difference in a second if I just show you that stand up so this is one that I haven't done and it just gives it that little bit of dimension a bit of texture so I'll just finish this one off I mean, you could colour it from where to go with these. It doesn't matter. But I just preferred it to have that paler colour in the background. There we go. And just a bit, bit of dark, just with a little dauber. And that's it. That's how I coloured it. I maybe coloured it a bit darker than the others. Let's just have a look no nope, not bad so as you can see they all go together right, I'll move that out of the way we can start putting the card together right so we're gonna go in and I'm gonna hairs everywhere I'm just gonna go and I like my my uh, multi-purpose glue you can use um the tape the tape roll uh, the rollers runners whatever you want to call them can't think what they call it now seal what have I done with that? So you could use, do it with this a stamp and seal. Um, but my, and my go to is my liquid glue. Right. So we're starting. What I'm going to do now is just arrange. Oh, I know what I was going to say as well. Right, you probably not guess, you'll probably not be able to tell, but the die is the smallest piece is at the left hand side. <laughs> oh they're good, aren't they? <laughs> oh dear. They've been making all sorts of things with it. Oh dear. So um it's only one way if you know what I mean we've got the shorter piece at this side and then it goes to the longer pieces well I wanted it if you can see on here so we've got shorter going to longer coming down to shorter so what I've done and you probably can't tell this one I've die cut and turned it over so instead of it being 
this way I've done it that way so I've coloured it on the back so it will go where I want it to you don't have to you can just play about it's just so so free to just go and play and do all try all sorts of things after all it is only a piece of card and that is what we're gonna do i'm gonna pop it down like so so all i did i'm gonna go in with my glue can pick it up so fine and delicate so all I did I'm just going to put a little bit of glue I don't want to press it down too much and get loads out so just a little bit of glue I'm just going to use my tweezers because they're really fine and we're going to go in like so just press that for a couple of seconds and that will stay and it's nice because it's loose if you know what I mean at the top so yet again we're gonna go in just a little bit little double the glue going to lay that like so because what we're going to put over the top of it is the sentiment so that will actually reinforce the oh, it's stuck to me reinforce it and we're just going to put that just down the center so just a bit of glue I always put too much on the table I'm a bit heavy handed and then I'm going to place that down the middle like so make sure that sticks and it's a bit 3d because it's like it's coming off the card just like flowers just like lavender wood oh thanks Susie oh, yes that's what it's here for I just saw it and just thought mm. it's good to case it is very good to case right sentiment guess what we're going in with black i'm afraid i love black and white i can't help myself so instead of thinking of you like i did on this one i'm going to go with happy birthday and the happy birthday i'm using and i'm using this quite a lot as well is out of artistically inked it's a lovely lovely nice clear font happy birthday and it's quite a long sentiment as well it looks good so i'm just gonna just move my card up get my block actually it'll go on that one that's a bit big i'm just wrecking me tub with all my blocks in right so just going to pop that on there we're going to get a scrap of black like so i'm going to get my powder embossing powder and my embossing buddy we need Bursamark ink. Oh, sit down again. Right, so 
embossing buddies stamping up don't sell this anymore but basically what it is is a bag of powder and it takes um any stickiness residue fingerprints that sort of thing off so when you stamp on your powder doesn't stick to everything you'll see what i mean in a second right, i'll just open that so this is my white embossing powder this is out of the basic pack so out of the basic pack your embossing powders come in two packs and there's three pots in each pack your basic is white clear and black and your metallics is gold <coughs> excuse me gold silver and copper and as i probably say every time i do it this always amazes me so here we go so versamark ink it's a watermark stamp pad it's not just for this doing this you can do all sorts with these you can use it to stamp a background and it just gives it like a watermark effect it is the very i like these very good right here we go i'm gonna go in stamp our happy birthday I don't know if you can oh we can just there you go you can see it there just so i'm going to pop it into my powder like so now where i said i've just caught you can just see above the h and the a i've just caught the edge of the um stamp so it's just got some powder on there that i don't want now you can use i would use that i always use a um oh yes lorna a brush hang on a paint another brush painting brush and all you do is you just take away the little bits that have gone astray like so and that's a just a, a, a dry brush i don't use my other one because it's damp so that's that I've lost my top put that on before i make sure it otherwise it'll be flying away everywhere and just quickly do that okay here goes for the fun got my tweezers to hold got my heat tool i'm just going to start it up just to warm up okay sorry about the noise mm. so she flicks it over there's only me could do that right i'm just going to go in and we're going to watch it change i love it there we go you can see it changing the, the metallics are even the copper i love absolutely love to watch it's like liquid liquid gold it is it's lovely can't get my thing back so there we go all done right so what i'm gonna do i'm not using i'm just gonna use my big scissors and i'm just gonna eyeball this 
You don't have to, you can use a die. There is actually. In the Harvest Die stamp set, that's Harvest Die stamp set, Harvest Die set. <laughs> oh dear, there's no hope. Is this lovely label die. Now that, I could have done that in happy birthday so that would have we could have done that but i've just used i never thought to be perfectly honest i've just i just wanted to cut it straight but yeah you could use that and that's actually in this set that these that these dies come from so i'm just gonna go in and Just level it off like so, get rid of my rubbish and just move those out of the way. Okie dokie, right, I might do something just a little bit different. So I'm going to pop that over there like so. But as Izzy knows, I have this thing about ribbon. I never use ribbon, hardly. And I thought there's this lovely, it's called frayed ribbon. This one quite wide, very unusual really, because it's not usually, they're not this wide. And I just thought to put a bit of that on and to put that on top. Just something a little bit different. <laughs> I, I can do ribbon. You, I certainly can when I get me put my brain together. Right, so I'm just going to cut just a piece of that, and it's lovely. And that that is called frayed ribbon. It's in the um, mini catalog that's out at the moment. So I'm just going to, I don't know whether to do it like that or whether to, let's have a look, let's have a look, come on Lana, it's sticking to me, there we go, something like that, what do we think, just something a little bit different just stands out right so I'm going to put this on with a tear and tape just going to put oh, my hands are terrible tonight can't even tear this and it tears so easy Okay. So here goes for the fun bit to try and get the backing off. It will come off once I get it going. Come on, you will do it. Try this then. There we go. Let's take that off. And then let's come on, you can do it. There we go. Just be patient, Lorna, it will come off. Let's take your pick tool. So we're just going to eyeball it, there we go, now I think, yes, I'm going to put, on each end I'm going to put a dimensional, but I think I'm also going to put some glue on it, just so it will hold to the ribbon, 
Um, so I'm using the mini ones. I might put two at each end. I'm not putting any in the middle purely because it's obviously raised a little bit with the stems of the uh, lavender. Right, so just like so, I'll take the backings off. These little things get everywhere. If I don't put them in the bin straight away, you can guarantee they'll be all over the place. Right, so I'm just going to get, just put a little dab of glue on each one, just to give it that bit of extra help. Oh, you're going to see is my hair in a minute. <laughs> Stand up. And then just press that down. There we go. It will take. It will stick. Um, and then we're going to put... I was going to take these out so it didn't make a racket. But I forgot. The brushed brass butterflies. We're going to put one of them on. We're going to put a big one on. And I'm going to where we're going to put this one. I'm going to put it on there. And I might actually. I'm going to put three on. It's got to be an odd number. I'm terrible. Uh, put two up there. So that is what we have. Now I can't forget. I've just got to I've decorated inside, decorated the outside. I forgot to get an envelope out. So we've got to decorate the envelope. Okay, where's my scrap of roomy? What did I do? I don't know, but I've got another piece here. Right. So this time I'm going to go in, I'm going to do it different. Oh, cracky. Oh, a cat's just come <laughs> A cat's just come out from under my desk. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> oh, dear me. I didn't know he got snuck in. Little terror. Um right, so I'm going to go in with fresh freesia and all I'm going to do is on the back of the the flap of the envelope just going to put a little bit of colour at one side and at the other Oh dear. Just like so. Just like that. And then we're going to go down in the bottom right hand corner at the front. We're going to do the same, just a little bit light. just so we've got some colour there and I'm going to go in with the leaves again to 
stamp off and just stamp on just like so just gives it something different so you've got it at the front and we've got it at the back I just like to do that I just like to decorate the uh, um, envelope that's what it's called I can't remember just gonna clean the stamp off and then we'll in my desk up and just put that there so you can do any sort of birthday card birthday card sympathy card thinking of you card anniversary card you could do anything with it i just love it i love the color and i just realized what i haven't done my wink of stella glitter pen i just went up each stem just to give it a little bit of shine. I knew I'd forget something. Just don't, you don't need a lot. And it just brings it to life. There we go. Just like that. That's the Winker Stella pen. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant pen. You can put glitter anywhere you want. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll just quickly recap which stamp sets I've used. So we've used the Peaceful Moments out of the annual catalogue. We've used Very Versailles out of the annual catalogue. We've used Artistically Inked for the sentiment out of the annual catalogue. And then we've used the Harvest Dyes, which is this set. And it just shows you next week. Um, I'm going to use it again, but I'm going to use this flower and hopefully i didn't get it perfected i've been playing about and playing about and i didn't get it perfected for this week so i will do it for next week so we'll be on with another floral card for next week um just while i think on i just wanted to show you the last week i did we did i made these hearts and I did the two blue ones and then I did this one after we'd finished just a different colour so uh, it just uh, it's just something different I just wanted to show you them because I've done the blue and I just thought I'd do a different colour right so that's it for tonight we'll see you hopefully all again next monday um i say we're doing some more floral cards next week and um i'd just like to say if you're watching on catch up thank you very much for watching if you're watching on youtube i would appreciate if you like what you're seeing to give me a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel I would I would really appreciate it so uh, but thank you guys for watching me live it means a lot right I will say good night and we'll see you next week thank you very much bye